Hi everyone, my name is Wisnu. I'm a professional food photographer in Singapore. In this episode, I'm going to take you to watch a real live session of my dark moody food photography from one of my wife's creations called Canapé. So let's take a closer look at how you can apply this dark moody photography style to your food photography. Choose dark and muted colors for the backdrop, like dark gray, dark blue, or wooden and weathered texture. This is as extremely important to keep the background in shadow and draw the viewer's attention to the food. Practically you only need one source of light. Make sure that the light fall from the side. It's best to use indirect lighting, so no lights pointing directly at the set or food, and create unnatural or unappealing harsh light. You can use natural or window lighting whenever possible for your photo, as long as you can angle it correctly. Since I like to control the lights, I'm using a flash and softbox as a light modifier here. Use a reflector or dark board to either lighten or darken your objects. In dark and moody food photography, it is essential to avoid making the food look artificial and sterile. Rather, the food should make you believe you could sit down at the table there and just eat. The food is often looked perfectly imperfect, with scattered crumbs, or artfully placed smears and drips, as if it has been freshly prepared. But be careful not to overdo it. You need to practice to make food styling look casual and random. 